As I left for university, I met my first Baha'i. This friend, in fact, began a book one study circle in, in the very house that we shared with a few friends and invited me to join, but I said no. So shortly after university, this same friend and I traveled to Central America and we served there for six months together. And it was here uh, that one of the volunteers invited me to begin a book one and this time I accepted the invitation. Um, I did do a lot of debating with myself before, um, whether I should or shouldn't, what it would mean about my faith. I went through a whole process, but, but thought, well, why not? Here I am. And from this moment onwards, when I started book one, my life changed. I realized how beautiful the writings were. I began also to start feeling that there was something really captivating about Bahá'u'lláh. Very late in the evening, after we'd been talking more and more, I, I whispered to my friend that I was a Bahá'í. Um, and it was, it was the happiest and also the scariest moment of my life. So soon after I returned home, I began the second book in the sequence and then was offered the opportunity to do book five. And I was so excited as I, I really wanted to put into practice my, my experience with young people. So last summer we had our first junior youth outreach project and then promptly began a junior youth group. Uh, I co-animated this group and just last month we finished Breezes of Confirmation. I was going through book one and I was saying, this seems so simple. This is so elementary. And then I realized in conversations, a kindly tongue is the lodestone. Oh, yeah. Okay. The betterment of the world through pure and deadly deeds. Wow. You see how it fits in everything. I was very curious about uh, spirituality and didn't know much about it. Book one was the first step to me exploring spirituality. I learned how to pray. This was very hard for me because I, I, do, I didn't understand this habit and I had never prayed before. I learned that prayer is just like uh, talking to someone you love. And if you love someone, then there's nothing that can stop you from talking to that person. Right after I finished my book one, my tutor suggested that uh, I start the devotional, but I had no idea how to host one. They suggested that they could uh, accompany me to invite uh, both friends and the people we didn't know yet. So I hosted uh, my first uh, devotional. Right now, devotional gathering has become a regular activity in my neighborhood. A planti mi go trulo de slabat act of service am trulo lab lim lo bahaula am by act of service lim by more fruitful a long mi et mi understand mo sem ta mi participate lo rui na mi la conducting more study circle because importance na significance long de slabat rui study circle alone mi inspire me through mi sibolish za neden 100 chalavek мы им представили, что такое институт Рухи. И когда мы, мы делали презентацию, представляли им, какая цель института, и как, как каждая из книг последовательности развивает и может развить их способности, и как они потом могут делать вклад в построение новой цивилизации. И очень многие люди откликнулись. Где-то примерно половина из них сказали, что они хотят участвовать. We just started book two. They also realized something that when you just arise to share the message with a friend, the divine confirmations are surrounding you always. There are some new believers come in, but we really have a hard time to really consolidate them, but we still didn't understand the importance of the home visit. We kind of had assumption that our Koreans usually feel like they feel really burdened to open up their houses, to invite people to come. So home visit is not a good strategy for Korean community. So two uh, resource people in the cluster mobilized 15 friends of the community, we organized the home visit and we just put it into action right away. The result was really, really positive. Our fear for home visit was preconception and those people who were visited were 
they were feeling so cared for and they were they felt loved by us. Já que nossa comunidade era pequena, a gente tinha muito potencial, começamos a ensinar. Em um final de semana, nossa comunidade aumentou em 14 novos barrais. Foi então que a Assembleia Local tomou consciência da prática do livro 2, que é as visitas aos lares. Com tantos barrais, nós precisávamos levar para eles as visitas, os temas das visitas. né? Mas a prática do livro 2 sempre foi uma realidade distante da comunidade, porque nós nunca tivemos alguém para visitar. Sempre a gente simulava, brincava no grupo de estudo, mas nada muito concreto. Mas daí todo mundo começou a se mobilizar para fazer as visitas. E os facilitadores chamavam, mesmo aqueles que já tinham feito o livro 2 há muito tempo, para voltar e fazer as visitas, praticar o que o livro 2 nos ensina. E todos foram recebidos com muito amor por todos aqueles recém-declarados. A gente podia ver que eles tinham ansiedade por saber mais sobre a fé naquele momento. E nós conseguimos, em menos de um mês e meio, realizar a série de visitas com todos os sete adultos da comunidade e envolver praticamente todas as crianças nas aulas barrais. Emir bizden çok şeyler bekliyor ama ben neresindeyim bunun hep kendimi sorguluyordum. Ruhi tazelemelerinden sonra dedim ki ben ne yapabilirim? Önce dua toplantılarından başlayayım. E, dua toplantısı yaptım ve ben e, bunları e, bu arkadaşlarımda çok büyük değişiklikler gördüm. Duaya geldikçe benden dua kitapları istediler, aldılar. Biz evimizde de okuyoruz. Kimisi diyor ben baş ucuma koydum sürekli okuyorum. E, tabii bunlar bana çok mutluluk verdi, cesaret verdi. I became Baha'i in September 2005. And it took me two years to go through the sequences of seven books. My wonderful tutor, Sapa, made the classes so enjoyable that I couldn't wait for the next class. At the last day of seven, uh, book seven, Sapa asked me if I want to be a crew toter with her for the book one. I immediately knew that is the time to pay it forward. So I accepted. And we started the book one with the new believers, and now we are on the second book. I told Sahaba, I feel like I'm not doing enough. She said, how about you help me through the children class? I told her I have no experience, but she said, don't worry about it, we'll do it together. Every time I mentioned something that I can't do it, she said, don't worry, we'll do it together. And it's been over six months that we are doing children classes together too. I also have my own Ruhi study circle at my place. It was my first time I was doing service by myself without Sahaba, <laughs> which I called her as soon as the class was over. And as soon as she heard my voice, she said, you did it. And I was very happy. Di ritorno, di ritorno da una conferenza, questo, questo mio amico, questo ragazzo, eh, mi, mi, ha, mi ha parlato del circolo di studio. Mio. Io mh, non avevo ben capito di che cosa si trattava. Comunque, insomma, mi fidavo molto di, di questo mio amico, allora, <laughs> allora ho accettato la sua la sua proposta. Il primo incontro del circolo di studio, questo mio amico cioè, ci si mise a sedere intorno al tavolino e lui tirò fuori un libro di preghiere. E io, un brivido mi scordo con la schiena, io, proprio per capire io non ero assolutamente abituato a pregare, a parlare di spiritualità, di Dio uh, così apertamente. Le sue parole sono state, di solito noi iniziamo la nostra attività con una preghiera. E io un po' spaventato e detto, va bene, ok, insomma. Allora hanno cominciato a leggere le preghiere e abbiamo iniziato il circolo di studio. Avevo scoperto eh, questa capacità di comunicare con, con Dio che prima non avevo, non avevo mai sentito. Sono andato avanti con il, con il circolo di studio e prima del, del termine ho deciso di dichiararmi. Avevo terminato la, 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 la sequenza dei, dei, dei libri e tutte le persone che avevo uh, che erano rimaste colpite dalla mia trasformazione mi hanno chiesto verne di più e diciamo con loro ho fatto la pratica del libro 7 ho aperto un, un mio primo circolo di studio che è andato avanti e ha avuto dei, dei risvolti molto belli
Grazie.